What? Were you snarling all before I came, ready to catch each other by the throat and turn you, all your hatred now on me? Did your threat curse prevail so much with heaven that Henry's death, my lovely Edward's death, their kingdom's loss, my awful punishment, should all but answer for that Peevish brat. I can curse as pure as the clouds and enter heaven. Why then, give way, dull clouds, to my quick curses. If not by war, by surfeit die your king, as ours by murder to make him a king. Edward, thy son, that now is Prince of Wales, for Edward our son, that was Prince of Wales, die in his youth by like untimely violence. Thy sell the queen for me that was a queen, outlive thy glory like my wretched self. Long mayst thou live to wail thy children's death and see another as I see thee now, decked in thy right, as thou art stalled in mine. Long die thy happy days before thy death, and after many lengthened hours of grief, die neither mother, wife, nor England's queen. Reverse and Dorset! Your standard spy, and so is thou, Lord Hastings. And my son was stopped with bloody daggers. God, I pray him that none of you may live his natural age, but by some unlooked accident, cut off. Stay, dog, for thou shalt hear me. If heaven hath any grievous plague in store, exceeding those that I can wish upon thee, oh, let them keep it till thy sins be ripe, and then hurl down their indignation on thee, the trouble of the poor world's peace, the worm of conscience still benow thy soul, thy friends. Suspect for traitors while thou livest, and take deep traitors for thy dearest friends. No sleep close up the deadly eye of thine, unless it be while some tormenting dream affrights thee with the hell of ugly devils. Thou elvish, marked, forty footing hog, thou that was sealed in thy nativity, the slave of nature and the son of hell, thou slander of thy heavy mother's womb, thou loathed issue of their father's loins, the rack of honour thou detested. Richard, 